All right, lot 75 in this year's Nutrien Equine Standard Bread Sydney sale is a so high Tribeca out of Hold That Dream. Dr. Kath McIntosh joins me from Lower Long Farms. Hello to you, Kath. Hey, Paul. Thanks for having us again. Uh, we've been here today doing videos and uh, yelling photos, and they'll be going up very, very shortly. We want to promote this horse because there is, it's, great, it's a great thing that's being done by a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of people getting involved in it, and we want to make sure people are aware of what is actually happening. This filler here is lot 75 in the Sydney sale. There is also lot number 673A, who will be offered up all for Pancare and the Pancare Foundation. Sorry, I should say in Melbourne sale, um, that other one. We're not going to talk too much about that horse there. Both fillies are by Soho Tribeca. That's right. Both fillies are raising money for Pancare and the Pancare Foundation, and 100% of everything these horses make is going to the Pancare and the Pancare Foundation. Other than that, they're obviously two different fillies, but um, that's about the way it's going to work, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, this filly will go up to um, Sydney and all proceeds from her sale will go to the Pancare Foundation to raise money for upper gastrointestinal cancers, um, which includes, you know, stomach, biliary, liver, esophageal. Um, you know, these cancers have some of the highest mortality rates and, um, yeah, we need to increase some awareness around that and, and I think it's a really great initiative um, and something as breeders that we can really support but I think something to note about this filly in particular is um, a bit of a, a bit of a backstory behind yeah, her you're saying and that. it's uh, yeah it's quite um, yeah it's actually when you, when you think back it, it, it's really um, quite a, a great connection so the dam of this mare is um, hold that dream and uh, a few years ago, um, uh, I'm sure a lot of people in this industry are, are very aware of um, George and Mary Tennant. Um, unfortunately, George passed away early in the season last year. Um, but he certainly, um, through his uh, you know generosity and passion for the industry, is inadvertently um, you know is still contributing through this filly. Yep. And how that come about was um, you know I'd only I'd met George you know a handful of times at the sales and uh, and at, at various fun race races around the place and you know George was always very passionate about breeding and um, you know he had the she's all rock was one of his you know greatest breeding um, feats uh, to take note of and you know she won three group ones uh, oaks which yep. is um, pretty amazing and anyway uh, one day I got this manila envelope in the mail and uh, inside was a handwritten uh, letter from George and it had uh, a photo of the mare hold that dream and, and a photo of some of her offspring and also a handwritten, you know, her pedigree, um, what each of her foals had done and a few comment, recent comments from trainers about her progeny. And uh, he basically said, I'm, I'm sending, I've booked the ferry to come next week. I've booked the transport to come after the ferry has been. And I'm sending you up this mare um, on the condition that I bred her to Malmara. And it just happened to be the first year that we're standing Malmara. So, you know, I got on the phone to George and I said, oh, that's lovely, George. Thank you very much. And he, um, yeah, he signed the, the mare over to me, he sent her up as he'd promised. And, and we bred her to Malmara. Um, and last year we took that Melmara colt. He was a stunning colt. Yep. He was um, through the Melbourne Nutrient Sales. And uh, fortunately, yeah, George was, was there to see him and uh, was very proud of, you know, the, the, of the progeny of the breeding that he instigated. Yep. And uh, anyway, obviously when she had that Melmara um, colt at foot, um, I bred the mare to Soho Tribeca, which is also his first year you know, standing with us. Um, it makes this filly eligible for the Vic Bread Pure $12,000 bonus. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then, you know, once we sort of started going through this idea of, of you know, having a charity to, to contribute or raising money for different charities each year through the sales and the breeding, um, yeah, I thought that this, you know, filly would be a lovely filly to offer up and, and you know, it just goes back to, to the kindness and the, the passion that, that George had uh, for the breeding industry. So, um, you know, it's sort of the gift that keeps on giving. Was George alive? When you when you decided to, with this idea, was he? Uh, no, he wasn't. Unfortunately, he'd be yeah. pretty proud of it, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think so. And uh, you know, and I just think you know that's what our industry is all about. You know, we sort of um, keep giving back. Uh, you know, um, there's so many people. Uh, that have you know always encouraging someone or mentoring them into the breeding game and and I sort of George has you know had become that for yep. me you know um, and then uh, you know a couple of years later he sent up a, another Mary he said you know Mary and I are getting too old to breed and he said I don't want to breed from her anymore um, you know I'll send her up to you to breed and uh, as well so um, you know he's he's shown me a, a, a pathway into breeding too I mean I obviously see that through a lot of my clients and and what they breed to, but 
um, yeah, this this filly is a bit special, and uh, she's you know, she's pres- you know, she's come up terrific in her prep, and she'll present really nicely in Sydney, and um, she's a lovely walking filly, and I think she'll make a, a nice um, horse for someone. Encourage people to go and have a look at her. She's lot seventy five. She, she will be up on the nutrient site by then. A beautiful walking filly. I ain't making that up. Anyone watches the videos, unless the videographer hasn't done his job properly, you will see what a what a stunning walk she does. The the thing behind this horse too, though, is something that is truly harness racing i think harness racing just do an enormous job but people getting behind it and i said about there before about 100 percent of the priority seeds nutrient will not be taking anything i'm not charging for the videos the truck driver's not charging there's just flow on effect of people donating which is what we do so well with 100 percent of those everything this filly makes going as i said back to the pan care and the pan care foundation which is something very close to your heart and a lot of other people and it's a it's a shocking disease what is it 11 percent of people survive um um, with the disease, yeah, or you know, past five years, yep. like so. Sorry, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a really um, high mortality rate, and that's why we need to create um, or you know have some funds. I mean, you see things through uh, for M and D, you know, how much money has been raised there, and, and the the leaps and bounds they've made in in detection and treatment and, and options for people with you know that's a, a horrific disease. Yep. So, you know, if we can help contribute um, to uh, pan care, then you know maybe in five years or so. Um, you know, we'll you know we'll be able to have an impact on on other people's lives. Um, we've also, apart from, uh, we've got a one minute to dream Soho Tribeca filly, which yep. is uh, for Melbourne. Uh, apart and, we, from and we will do another one similar to these, making sure people are aware of it and uh, know what they're actually getting in for when they buy this horse. Because yep. I think a lot of people will buy the horse and not be aware, you know, that everything else that is happening. So we want to make sure they are. Yeah, and uh, we're also running a raffle, so um, raffle tickets um, available from us or at the sales, um, and in you know various like in in the Golden Valley, various um, shops and businesses around here as well. We'll be selling them but um, some pretty amazing prizes there there's a um, seven day trip for two all expenses paid to a, a resort off uh, Vanuatu yep. uh, so that's the first prize um, we've got a $500 um, a meal like a dining and accommodation package uh, for, for um, Melbourne we've got a two um, a two person accommodation and golf package from Rich River yep. um, Golf Club in Moama uh, we've got a Makita, you know, blower set yep. um, pack, which is pretty handy for anyone, really. Yep. Um, and also um, a five hundred dollar uh, voucher for Repco, um, and you know that can be can be um, utilised anywhere in Australia. So. so raffle tickets can be purchased here. Um, at Lower Long Farms or Northern Rivers or you guys if they ring you can advise either sell them over the phone or be able to say to them where they can go they will be available at the Sydney sales and through to the Melbourne sales Mm -hmm. the raffle Brisbane and at Bathurst sorry yes sorry but the and the sale but it is drawn after Melbourne sale is that what I saw at the Melbourne sale we'll draw the draw the tickets or the winning tickets out then if people want to know more they're watching this and say how do we know more pick up your catalogue and then on both horses so lot 75 in Sydney and lot 673A on the the opposing page um, there is full details of everything including how you can get involved including what Pancare is and the Pancare Foundation and and a way you can actually go there and and just purely donate to them straight up if you want to do that as well yeah that's absolutely right Kath, thank you. Um, we want people to be aware. Lot 75, I'll keep saying it, and 100% of proceeds go to um, Pancare and the Pancare Foundation, and there's a lot of people behind it. We will miss some people, and we don't mean to by any way with that, but well done to you. Well done to everyone else who is getting behind it too, and it is a good story. And as you said there, starts with George Tennant basically handy, giving you the mayor and, and then going from there. So there's just lovely little stories, and I'm sure George... A lot of people know George and uh, know how passionate he is about harness racing. He'll be sitting there smiling right at the minute. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kath, thank you. Thanks.